Kate. I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us today. Ye Mystic Crew of Gasparilla announcing they are moving the Gasparilla Children's Parade and the Day Parade of Pirates to two weekends in April. Eight on your side, Jeff Patterson joins us now live from Bayshore Boulevard. Jeff. Good evening, Jen and Keith. Well, this is certainly something that you missed a crew of Gasparilla and the parade organizers at Event Fest considered carefully. And while we all like to dress up and get beads on Bayshore, safety was the number one concern here. It's Tampa's single largest event. Each year, Gasparilla draws hundreds of thousands of people to Bayshore Boulevard for the Children's Parade and the Parade of Pirates. The event was to be in January this year. But health officials warn that is when the latest increase in coronavirus cases is expected to peak. So Ye Mystic Crew of Gasparilla decided to play it safe and move the party to April. When Mardi Gras canceled all of their events, uh, we put our thinking caps on and said, where are we in, in, in this scenario? Pete Lackman is the captain of Ye Mystic Crew of Gasparilla this year and knows the decision impacts more than pirates. It will have an impact on tourism and business, too. Many, many businesses, millions of dollars of business is an influx every year with the Gasparilla events. Ann Bartlett owns the South Tampa Trading Company. This is a big deal to postpone it. She sells crew costumes, beads, and more for Gasparilla and is hoping to hang on this year until April. I would encourage people to show their support of those unique small businesses by reaching out to them and planning things in advance, purchasing beads in advance, pre-sales, um, ordering new costume items, you know, keeping our staffs busy enough so that we will be here in April when you need us. So as Ann points out, this weekend is Small Business Saturday, a great time to go buy some beads, maybe pre-order a costume. And it's not just the businesses that sell beads and costumes. We're talking about catering companies, hotels, restaurants that bring in millions of dollars every year from this event. So a parade in April is better than no parade at all. Live on Bayshore, Jeff Patterson, 8 on your side. It's the holiday rush. Residents racing to get tested for coronavirus at the Tropicana Field testing site. But health officials say if we don't take extra precautions on Thanksgiving, it could directly impact Christmas and New Year's, too. Pinellas Bureau reporter Christine McClarty joins us now live at the Trop. It's always a busy scene there. It sure is. And Saturday, especially on Saturday, many people got behind the wheel and drove to this COVID testing drive through site, 1,300 to be exact, averaging about a two hour wait. But the Department of Health says even if your test turns out negative, you're not in the clear this Thanksgiving. It's uh, definitely certainly a nerve wracking time. Eric Radfeld lives in St. Pete with his wife and their new three month old son. He says COVID has been challenging. Terrible, um, you know, um, especially my wife. Uh, she was pregnant throughout the, the outbreak and everything. So um, not being able to experience, you know, his first Thanksgiving, his first Christmas with, with his family, with his grandparents has certainly been a, uh, an adjustment, something that we're uh, having taken in stride. A Pinellas County Emergency Management spokesman says they're concerned about COVID spread. We're still dealing with um, COVID-19 and we're starting to see a, a, a gradual uptick in the infection rate here locally. They say you can't rely on test results. Radfeld agrees. Being asymptomatic, having a negative result doesn't mean that you're not, still not contagious. Maggie Hall with the Florida Department of Health in Pinellas County says now is not the time for COVID fatigue. Stay socially distanced. Um, protect yourself. And, you know, I can tell you whether you like them, you know, kind of arty or whether you like them cute, wear these things. Paul says stay safe now for better days ahead. I think everybody's going to be glad to see 2021 arrive um, because this has been an un unprecedented year. I mean, Radfeld says their holidays won't be traditional, but they'll be safe. It's going to be uh, my wife and my, uh, my son and my parents. Uh, so usually we have a gathering of 40 to 50 people and now it's down to just four. And even that we're going to be maintaining social distancing and having it outside. Now this testing site does open again tomorrow at 8 a.m., but they will be closed 
on Thursday and Friday for Thanksgiving. For more details about all the free testing sites, you can go to the WFLA app. Reporting live in St. Petersburg, Christine McClarty, 8 on your side. Thank you, Christine. There is some more encouraging news tonight in the search for a COVID-19 vaccine. Britain's Oxford University and the drug maker AstraZeneca say their vaccine candidate is 70 to 90 percent effective. The numbers are not quite as strong as those from Pfizer and Moderna, which have shown 95 percent protection. But health experts say there are some benefits the Oxford AstraZeneca drug has that the others do not. It's much cheaper to make, and it can be stored in regular refrigerators, lasting up to six months. Pfizer's vaccine has to be stored in ultra-cold conditions, making it more difficult to distribute. Oxford and AstraZeneca's vaccine candidate is not made in the U.S., but health experts say the more vaccines that are circulating, the better it's going to be for the world. The CDC is reversing course when it comes to cruises now advising against them. The agency has upgraded the COVID-19 risk of cruise travel to a level four, which is its highest level. The advisory comes almost a month after the CDC lifted its cruise ban. Still, many major cruise lines don't have trips planned until next year anyway. Eight on your side is keeping you and your family informed throughout the pandemic. You'll find the latest updates from here in the Bay Area and nationwide on our free WFLA app. The wave of the future in transportation is here. A self-driving vehicle is now on the street in St. Petersburg. Ed on your side's Melissa Marino is here tonight to show us how it's going to work. Hey, good evening, Keith. So pretty cool stuff. This is right downtown, so you can check out the restaurants, the Dali Museum, the new pier, perfect timing, then hop in the new shuttle, and guess what? It's free. But there is a catch. There's not going to be anyone behind the wheel. In fact, there's not even going to be a steering wheel. It's called AVA, and it's not just the vehicle's cool look creating a buzz. It's what the car doesn't have. We're launching these autonomous, driverless, electric vehicles uh, here in downtown St. Petersburg. The Pinellas Suncoast Transit Authority is adding the autonomous vehicle to its fleet. Starting today, AVA will shuttle people up and down Bayshore Drive, connecting them to the downtown looper and the Cross Bay Ferry. It really does fit with uh, our city's vision of being innovative and creative. The shuttle will drive on its own, using eight sensors around it, allowing it to drive with traffic. It is going to be interac interacting with vehicles, pedestrians, kind of the real, real life situations. A co pilot will be inside AVA the whole time to help navigate when needed. Whether people will actually take a ride, time will tell. But the company's CEO says they're safer than you may think. They can react 10 times faster than a human can when they detect an obstacle. As of now, it's part of a three-month pilot until February. Then data from the trial will be analyzed. City officials hope to see them stick around. Uh, yeah, we hope to see this technology be very successful and, and, uh, and more opportunity for people to ride it on a permanent basis to be here. AVA runs Wednesday through Sunday, 10 a.m. until 10 p.m. Now, because of the pandemic, only four people, they can ride at a time unless you're in a group of six of the same group. And important, you must wear a mask. And for inquiring minds, it goes about 15 miles per hour. Melissa Marino, 8 on your side. News Channel 8 is your official Bucks station. The Bucks are back on Monday Night Football tonight. This time they take on the Los Angeles Rams, another team battling for a playoff spot. And last year, I mean, the Bucks scored 55 points in a win over the Rams. It was a big game, but uh, it's a little different this time around. Might be a little tougher. Eight on your side is Dan Lucas joining us live from Raymond James <laughs> Stadium with a preview. Dan. Yeah, good evening, guys. I still think there's going to be quite a few points in this game tonight, but we're talking about two of the best defenses in the entire NFL, and the Rams have really picked up their game. They're playing different uh, defensively this year. They went out, scrapped everything after last year. They hired a new defensive coordinator and uh, did what the Bucks did last year, switched the scheme. They have three down linemen, four linebackers. It helped the Bucks play faster on defense, and so far this year, it's done the same thing for the Rams. And offensive coordinator Byron Leftwich has studied as much film as he can to get ready for this thing tonight. They have a lot of really good football players, a lot of guys playing fast, moving around. Just the scheme is different. The scheme is really completely different from what they've done in the last year. So um, obviously we can take some things from that from a personnel standpoint, but these guys are playing well. I mean, they're playing really good football right now. 
And uh, the guy you want to watch tonight, number 99, it's not a surprise. His name is Aaron Donald. He has nine quarterback sacks on the season. He's in the middle of that defensive line. That's who the Bucks need to shut down tonight if they're going to have success. Live with the Bucks at Raymond James Stadium, Dan Lucas, eight on your side. Great timing, almost Los Angeles weather for this game here. This evening, temperatures falling into the upper 60s under mostly clear skies out of Raymond James Stadium. So fantastic there at 815. Might be a little bit cool, too. All right now, you see mostly clear conditions here at almost sunset. 77 degrees, feels like 78, the dew point 54. Just very comfortable, gorgeous day. We had a little dry front sneak through the area, kind of reinforce the cooler and slightly drier air in place. Our highs so far today, upper 70s primarily, so it has been beautiful. This evening will be nice. We'll see if this trend will carry the next couple of days coming up. Thank you, Steve. And a reminder, you can track storms anytime with our free Max Defender Raid app. It puts Florida's most advanced radar in the palm of your hand. Still ahead tonight, Florida's first Alpine snow park is a very popular place to be in the Bay Area. But that popularity creating some issues. We'll tell you what officials at Snowcat Ridge say they need to do to make things right. You buy your retirement home, you make a huge down payment. And then all of a sudden, you've got major problems. Yeah, they bought their dream home, but it became a nightmare of sorts. A Bay Area couple now blaming the cable company, and Better Call Bacon is investigating. A young boy killed in a boating accident on Sarasota Bay. I'm Allison Henning in Sarasota County. Coming up, what we know about the accident and how the community is coping with this tragedy. From one shocking performance to the next. I love you, and I love your mother. The coaches are totally knocked out. I can't breathe. Your voice sit, chills up my spine. I was looking at your spine. I saw yeah, you I saw, saw it too. The Voice, new tonight and tomorrow on NBC. Well, this is what happens when you vote off all the smart people. No, 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 no. This is terrible. I'm afraid to ask another question. Is it too late to get new contestants? <laughs> new Weakest Link, tonight on NBC. Feel the joy of selling your house with no repairs, no showings, and no surprises. Call Homestead Road today for a free no-obligation offer. A lucky man who does what he wants never works a day in his life. When my brother Tim was hurt, it changed my life forever. I knew what I wanted to do. If you need me, I'm here. There's only one Morgan & Morgan for the people. At Batteries Plus, we power family road trips. We power bedtime stories. We power our local hospitals. We power connections with friends. We do more than replace batteries and fix phones and tablets. We help our neighbors power their lives. How powerful is that? Get powered in-store, curbside, and at BatteriesPlus.com. I am paying insane premiums for a Medicare supplement and prescription drug plan, and it's cleaning me out. What if you could get even more benefits on a plan with no premium and even get money back? I'm all ears. Save more and get more with Optimum Healthcare, a Medicare Advantage plan. Enjoy benefits like vision and dental with deep cleanings. Supplements make you pay for those. Get up to $1,500 a year in over-the-counter items, and some plans even refund up to $1,735.20 in your Social Security check per year per member. Aren't all Medicare Advantage plans the same? No, they're not. Optimum caters exclusively to Florida seniors like you with a very large doctor network. It's been rated a top plan in the state for quality of care. Medicare Advantage is all they do. Call 1-855-867-1338. Learn about our safe consultation options. Complete a presentation and get a $10 gift card with no obligation to enroll. Mom! They're just chit-chatting away. Got another update from school. Here's AJ! So when are you going back into the office? I mean, I don't know, Dad. How's that? How's that? Is that better? Well, we have a safety net. We'll be okay, right? Maybe we should talk to someone. Closed captioning is sponsored by Cole Pepper Curland. Auto accident? Call Cole Pepper Curland. Aggressive, tenacious. Cole Pepper Curland. Eagle 8 HD coverage is brought to you by your Suncoast Hyundai dealers. Visit your local dealer today or shop by Hyundai.com. You're watching News Channel 8 at 5 with Jennifer Lee.
Keith Kate and Chief Meteorologist Steve Jervy. Cheated, lied to, or tricked, she's tackling every opportunity to make something that went wrong right. Better Call Bacon is on your side. Imagine buying a new townhome and then having it flood with sewage water on the very same day. It's awful. And it happened to a Carrollwood woman. Seven months later, she says the cable company responsible for that mess still has not made things right. And that's when they knew they'd better call Bacon. This woman and her husband have spent thousands of dollars diagnosing and fixing this problem and slowly putting the townhouse back together. When I walked in and I started walking in water and splashing, that's when we realized there was a major problem. Talk about bad timing. Joanna Perkins was in the middle of moving into this Carrollwood townhouse in April. She and her husband had just hours earlier signed closing documents when the house started to flood with sewage. It was just a nightmare from the beginning. Sewage water came up through the toilet and saturated the floors. We just laid out all this money for a home. You know, you buy your retirement home, you make a huge down payment, and then all of a sudden you've got major problems. You're wondering, am I going to have black mold issues? You know, because that'll just devastate the house. Joanna says it took months to get to the root of the problem. This picture shows Frontier Communications pipe going through and damaging the sewage.